Does anybody else love how their hair looks when they have like glasses on their head? Because I do. Anyways, this is going to be such a fun TBR video. We got some prompts right here. We're gonna dump them in our cauldron. Shake them up. We got our wand. We are ready to roll. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tiff and welcome back to my channel. You already know what today's video is, so I do not need to tell you twice. What is up? How are you? I love you and let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I know you already know what the video is, but let me just explain. So my husband actually came up with this idea. I wanted to do a fun TBR video for October that kind of gave spooky vibes, I guess. So he came up with the idea. We got a cauldron here. This is our TBR jar, TBR cauldron, if you will. And we have our wand. This is actually Snape's wand, just in case you were wondering. I have a glue dot <laughs> at the tip of my wand. Um, kind of ratchet, but we're making do, okay? And I'm basically just gonna stick my wand in here and we're gonna pick... <laughs> a prompt that seems so goofy but you know what i don't even care it's gonna be fun and that's all that matters so i feel so silly just sitting here waving this wand anyways i don't know how many i wrote and put in here but there's a good amount it looks like none because this cauldron is so big but anyways let's get into it let's get started let's pick number one okay we got one and the first prompt is under 500 pages that is going to be pretty easy to find a book that's under 500 pages because most books I own are under 500 pages. This is all books I haven't read. I have a lot of books just on my shelves that I haven't read. So see, the problem with this prompt is like, there's definitely books that would go with other prompts. So I'm like, I don't know what to pick. I feel like, why was this like low key a bad one to get for the first prompt? I don't know. Um. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schult. I picked this up not too long ago and really has been pulling my attention, pulling my eye. I've really been wanting to pick it up recently, but I haven't had a chance because I've been filming so many reading vlogs. This is like a YA fantasy fiction mystery type deal, okay? This book is about this girl who is a pit pocketer and she ends up pit pocketing someone and figures out that what she took was actually a video of four queens being brutally murdered. So she ends up teaming up with the person she pit pocketed from to finish the delivery and uncover the murderers. So it just sounds really interesting and I cannot wait to read it again It's just like a random book that I picked up recently I just randomly saw it at Barnes and was like, hmm, I think we're gonna get it and I'm really excited So this is the first book on our TBR for the month. Let's move right on into book number two Okay, this is so fun. Stop. Okay What am I trying to say? <laughs> Prompt two is set on or during Halloween. I honestly don't know if I have any. I'm gonna have to look this up real quick. Hold on, because I think I might have a couple, but I need to look up if they are. Question. Um, the the book by Natasha Preston, you said it would be good to read during Halloween. Does it like take place like on or around Halloween? And so far it's taking place the week of Halloween. Perfect. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, that works out perfect. I do not have a physical copy, but I do want to try to get one. But I do have the free ebook because I didn't even tell you what the book is. <laughs> the book is The Haunting by Natasha Preston. It just came out a couple days ago, and I actually joined a book club on Fable, and she gave the first 200 people who joined said book club the free ebook. So I do want to get the physical copy because I just love her book so much, and I want to buy the physical copy, but I do have the free ebook. So that is the second book for this video. I'm very excited. The only thing I know about it is it's about this dad who had killed five teenagers leading up to Halloween and then a year later it's happening again. So I'm very excited to read that. And my sister said that so far in the first nine chapters she's read, it's taking place that week during Halloween. So perfect for that prompt. Moving on to prompt number three. What is, what is this? Um, I don't know. We're going to cast a spell. No, we're not. That's so cringy. Okay. Next one is any thriller. I already know what one I want to pick. I have been wanting to read this book ever since I got it. And I am so excited that I got to pick any thriller. We have One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose. She read she read 
well, she did read it, but she wrote The Perfect Marriage and I loved that book so much and the premise of this book sounds so, so interesting. It follows four rich women who live in this town called Buckhead. One of them obviously ends up dead, but it follows each of their POVs and just kind of like the gruesome, like rich people issues, rich women drama, that type of thing. I'm just really, really excited to read this. I cannot wait. I'm so happy that I'm able to put this on my TBR for October because I am definitely gonna be reading this so soon and just a little hint for those of you watching a little sneakity peekity not a sneakity peek I don't know what you would call it anyways I'm gonna be filming a specific kind of video in October where this will inevitably get read so stay tuned for that anyways that is the third pick I don't know if I said but we're picking eight books maybe ten but I think we're gonna pick eight so moving on to book number four and the next one we have is part of a series so we could go a lot of of different ways with this. I think I'm gonna pick one from a series that I have already started and I know exactly what I want to pick. We're gonna go with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I actually started reading this last fall and I got to chapter 9 which is page 140. This was only the third book I had ever read when I started getting into reading and I ended up picking up a romance and then got into a complete romance binge and just never picked it back up not because I didn't love this book but I just kind of forgot I was reading it and then never picked it back up and I since then have decided I wanted to save them for the fall time so I am going to start it over when I read it I'm not going to pick up where I left off but Harry Potter obviously as you guys can tell here is Sirius's wand it's literally like some of my favorite movies ever I love the universe I love the characters I just love everything about it so I can't wait to continue the series and read the next book this is our next pick I'm literally so excited okay moving on to numero five I feel like we're going through these really fast are we I don't know Anyways, next one is starts with the letter O. Do I have any books that start with O? Okay, um, we have October Kiss, which is actually a book I want to read in October because it's called October Kiss. So we might pick that one, but what else do we have? Okay, I actually think this is the only book I own that starts with the letter O and doesn't have like the or something before it. So that's kind of funny, but works out perfectly because I am definitely going to be reading this. So I'm very excited. This is basically like a book inspired by a Hallmark movie. If you know me, you know I love Hallmark movies, Hallmark Christmas movies. I am just such a hopeless romantic. I love the cheesy stuff. My mom has actually seen this movie and said it was really cute. So I'm very excited to read the book and then watch the movie and it's just going to be such a vibe and I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's also fairly short. I think it's like 250 pages so it's fairly short and I think it's gonna be just such a nice fun little fall read and I cannot wait. So this is book number five and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay moving on to pick number six. Oh we got two so I'm just gonna pull the one that wasn't on the you know next one is leaves on the cover i honestly when i wrote this was thinking of this book because this book has a lot of leaves on the cover but we already picked that so we need to find a different one okay i think we're gonna go ahead and go with the trader's kiss by aaron Beatty. this has some like flowers and leaves on the cover maybe not fall looking leaves but that's okay this is a ya fantasy and it's definitely giving medieval i don't know if it actually is a medieval fantasy fantasy but I'm really hoping it is because I think that's definitely becoming like my favorite kind of fantasy. I just love that type of fantasy. I'm actually reading one right now and I'm literally loving it and my literal favorite fantasy book I've ever read, Heavy is the Crown, it's right here displayed for all to see, is a medieval fantasy. So I'm hoping that is the vibe of this but I'm not 100% sure. All I really know about this is it follows a girl named Sage and she is deemed like unfit for a suitable marriage. She's just kind of not your typical woman in this time and so she She's a apprentice to a matchmaker. She pretty much spies on all these young girls to have them be married off for political alliances. And then as their military escort senses a political uprising, a handsome soldier, <laughs> a handsome soldier ends up recruiting her to infiltrate enemy ranks. So that's kind of how this goes. I'm really excited to read this. I actually had, I think one or two of you guys comment in the video where I picked this up saying that you guys really liked this series. So I'm very excited to read it and I'm excited to put it on my TBR for the month because I feel like fall is just the best time to read fantasies. So I'm very excited. This is pick number six. Yeah, this is pick number six. All right, on to number seven. And we have a standalone. This 
Hmm, what could I pick? I feel like I have a lot of books that are in a series, so I feel like this might be a little harder than I think it's going to be. Okay, I think I'm gonna pick a thriller, which is very un- Tiffany of me because I don't typically read very many thrillers because I get scared really really whoa I just get scared so unbelievably easy so I typically steer away from reading thrillers but again I'm filming a specific video this month that I'm gonna need to read some for and this is literally my third thriller mystery thriller on my TBR this month <laughs> but I guess it fits the October theme anyways we have 56 days by Katherine Ryan Howard I actually picked this up quite a long time ago and I have yet to get to it as for a lot of the books on my TBR. But from what I remember, this book kind of takes place during COVID. This book follows Sierra and Oliver. They meet at a supermarket 56 days prior, start dating the same week, and then 35 days prior. So about two weeks later, they end up moving in together because lockdown threatens to keep them apart. And then you have today, detectives arrive at Oliver's apartment to discover a decomposing body inside. It does sound really interesting. I think the premise of taking place during COVID is very interesting and I'm very excited to read it. Again, I'm just not a thriller person, so I haven't just picked it up, but I am excited nonetheless. Um, one thing though, why is this book so stiff? Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> it's so stiff. Like I, I never crack spines, but I feel like this is one I'm gonna have to, but this is pick number seven, our third thriller <laughs> on my TBR this month. That's crazy. I don't know who I am right now. Anyways, pick number eight. Next one is starts with the letter H. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We have Heartless. This is actually on my TBR for this month, but it's the last day of the month the day I'm filming this and I am definitely not getting it read. No, that's giving summer, but no, that's giving summer. Are you lying to me right now? So looks like we have about three options. We can either choose Heartless, which is like fairy tale retelling of the Queen of Hearts. And then we could choose Heartless by Elsie Silver, which is obviously in the Chestnut Spring series. This is a cowboy romance. I did not love Flawless, which I feel like is surprising, but I do still want to continue the series. So we could pick Heartless or we could pick another Harry Potter book, but it's like I want to pick a romance because there's only one romance on my TBR, but it's like, this is giving summer because it's a cowboy romance. Um, okay, sure, why not? We're just gonna pick Heartless. We're gonna, what's the word? What is the word I'm looking for? We're gonna just draw this. That's not the word. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but basically we're just gonna take this from last month's TBR and bring it on into this month's TBR since I didn't have a chance to get it read. And it obviously starts with NH. So like I said, this is like a fairy tale retelling of the Queen of Hearts. I am very excited to read this. It sounds so, so interesting. And I had quite a few of you guys DMing me or commenting saying that you read this book and absolutely loved it. So I am very excited to, why do I keep doing this? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I am very excited to give this a read so I guess stay tuned because I'll probably read this in a video like the rest of them this is pick number seven and moving on to pick number eight I honestly think we might pick ten just because I'm having a lot of fun doing this and I read ten books this month and I'm so proud of myself I've never read that many ever and I have a feeling October is going to be even better so anyways pick number eight is any romance yeah! <laughs> okay, that was ratchet. That was cringy. Please delete that from your brain. Anyways, any romance. I'm so excited. I know exactly what I'm gonna pick. This book is blowing up. So many people are loving it and I just recently picked it up and I cannot wait to read it. So we are gonna be picking The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I cannot wait to read this. Destiny read this, then it kind of blew up and I just saw Haley read this recently and it gave it a five star. So I cannot wait to read this and see what the hype is about. I literally was just looking at this on my shelf. I was like, man, I just want a prompt where I can read that book. And here we are. Here we are. So I'm so, so excited. If you don't know what this book is, I don't know much about it other than it basically follows this girl who moves into her dead aunt's apartment and she literally gets there and there's this guy, but he's like seven years in her past and she's seven years in his future. But when they leave the apartment, they're like, don't exist in each other's timelines. Is that how that works? I don't even know. I don't even know. I truly don't know. That could be so wrong. Okay. Keep in mind, I just said I don't really know what it's about. So regardless, I'm so excited to read this because everyone, are you literally lying to me? There is literally leaves on this cover. I could have picked this for Prosecco. 
Oh well, we were able to pick it now and I'm so excited. So this is pick number eight. Honestly, we're gonna do 10 for fun, okay? Am I gonna end up reading all 10 of these? Maybe, probably not, but maybe. So we're gonna just do two more. Next one is any mystery. Well, since I don't have enough mystery thrillers, on my TBR, but I know what I'm gonna pick. We are going with The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I am so, so excited to read this. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this series, and I own the whole series, as you can see down here, and I have yet to have a chance to pick it up, and this book is kind of from what people have said is kind of like Criminal Minds type of vibe. It's like these kids who have like special abilities, so they work with the FBI to solve cold cases. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. I used to love watching those kind of shows with my dad. We used to always watch like NCIS and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to give this a go. I actually haven't read anything by Jennifer Lynn Barnes before, but I do have a book club, which if you didn't know, I do have a book club. It's on Fable and it's free. So if you want to join my book club and you haven't already, I will always have the link in the description box. And our book club book for this month is actually The Inheritance, go away, The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So this is going to also be read this month for my book club and I'm really excited because this is another series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes that is so beloved and so many people love it and I cannot wait to read it. So I guess there's 11 books on my TBR since I'm telling you guys about this one but yeah if you want to join my book club link is always below and this is what we will be reading in October. Wait did I do more than I thought I did? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we already did ten. I definitely thought we already did nine, but we we definitely did ten. So I guess that's actually it. So here is my TBR for the month, aside from the one I don't have a physical copy of, but we have Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz. One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by obviously JK Rowling, The Traitor's Kiss by Aaron Beatty, October Kiss by Kristen Etheridge, I think is how you say it, 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston, The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, My Book Club book, which is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and then The Haunting by Natasha Preston. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, because we have a lot of fun over here and we want you to join the fun. With that being said, <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. This is me casting a spell on you to make sure that you subscribe and will see me in the next one. So <laughs> anyways, I love you guys so, so much. And I, oh my God, I already said that. Okay. Peace. <laughs> I am casting a spell on you. What a very colorful stack of books. I love that. What am I doing? Okay, that didn't work. Get a new one. I think there's, okay, restart. And this one's literally hanging on a thread. Hanging on a thread? Hanging, I'm done. Nope. <laughs> books I picked up. I picked up reading vlog and why can I not talk right now? I'm very, so I think it's like 300, or no, those are feathers. Those are not leaves. Okay, Claire, no, Sierra? Sierra? Why can I not say her name? Sierra. No, that's not Sierra. How do you say that? Why do I not know how to say that? I feel so dumb. Why can I not say that? Sierra. Okay, it's just spelled weird. Okay, so this book. <laughs> oh, I didn't get anything. Oh my god. <laughs> the Seven Year Slip by. Oh my god. I keep wanting to say The Seven Year Slip by The Seven Year Slip. Wow. If you get. If you get. If you did, don't for. Oh my god. Avada Kedavra. Okay. Wow. Where did that come from?